Hi, beautiful. It's a brand new month. Time for us to switch our focus to hurdle step. This functional movement is one of the most important. It's part of your everyday life. It's the base of your locomotion, your movement, your walking, your hiking, your running. It's about balance of mobility and stability, the transfer of your weight from one leg to the other, the vital fundamental movement for you to be able to physically do what you wanna do. So for the next five weeks, we're gonna be working on your hip mobility, stability, core work, your balance, putting those pieces together to improve your locomotion. We're gonna be doing three exercises today. I'm going to add three exercises each week. You'll build up your practice. By the end of the month, you will have a full routine focused on your hurdle step. For today's workout, you're gonna want a bolster or a roller and some kind of strap. Got everything ready? Let's get to it. You're gonna start with a hip stretch. You're gonna lay down on your back. You're gonna have your right leg extended out straight, pushing your heel into the mat, checking that your right foot is in alignment with your hip, bringing in your left knee as far as you can, feeling where your hip sinks into the socket. You wanna feel a light engagement of your right hamstring. And from here, you're going to rotate your left hip into that external rotation without your pelvis moving. So you wanna keep that right leg active, feeling that slight hamstring engagement, opening up your left knee as wide as you can, keeping your pelvis level, really feeling where your femur sinks into the socket and then pulling your knee in toward your chest, right? Increasing the mobility of that hip and coming across the body as far as you can, keeping your pelvis level. It's not going to be a very big movement. You may feel a stretch on the outer thigh and in your glute and that's okay. And you wanna work that internal rotation as best you can. Keep that right leg slightly active and then again, pulling your left knee into your chest as you go into external rotation of the hip, keeping the pelvis level. You may feel some inner thigh stretch here. And again, pulling the knee into your chest, moving across the body into internal rotation. You're not really moving your pelvis here, right? You're just trying to move your hip and your leg. Don't be surprised if the movement is pretty small. And then again, pulling the knee into the chest, going into external rotation, checking to see if your right leg is slightly active. You should feel really anchored in your upper body on the mat. Pulling the left knee into your chest, moving across the body, and then coming into that home base position, extending the left leg back down. So now you want to have your left leg lined up with the hip, slight engagement of the left leg as you pull your right knee in toward your chest, trying to get your thigh as close to your chest as possible. Going into external rotation of the hip, feeling that active left leg, the heel slightly pushing into the mat. That's gonna help stabilize your pelvis. Pulling your thigh in toward your chest, feeling where your femur sinks into the socket as you go across the body, going into internal rotation of the hip. This is where you may feel the glute stretch on the left side, that's fine. Remembering that your pelvis is staying very still, you're really trying to move the leg and the hip. Going back into external rotation, is your left leg active? Is your pelvis level? Do you feel really anchored in your upper body on the mat? Pulling that knee in toward the chest, feeling where the femur sinks into the socket as you go into internal rotation of the hip. Try to keep your left leg active. And again, back into external rotation, one more time each way. Pulling into the chest, switching, going into the internal rotation, and then coming back in to home base position. Excellent. Next, you're gonna go into single leg stretch, inhaling twice, exhaling twice as you switch sides, trying to pull your knee into your chest as best you can, working on that hip mobility. You wanna do 10 sets if you can, trying to keep your shoulders off of the mat the entire time. Focusing down toward your pubic bone, 
you want to try to do 30 sets total. Okay, let's start the second set. If you start to feel it in the back of your neck or your lower back, you want to stop and rest. That is a cue that your abs have checked out and that you're compensating. If you notice that you get tired more quickly, that's perfectly normal. Rest anytime you need. Okay, let's go into the third and final set. You've got this. After the third set, you should definitely feel your internal furnace going because you've been activating your core. When you're done, bring your knees into your chest and rock out your lower back. For this next exercise, you're going to want your bolster, roller, pillow, whatever you're using, and your strap. You're going to start with your right leg straight up toward the ceiling in the strap. Your left leg is extended down long, resting on your support, whatever you're using. You're just going to keep your right leg straight in the strap, and you're going to lower and lift your left leg. You want to feel your hip flexors and psoas and abs engaging each time you pick up your left leg keeping the left leg nice and straight. It shouldn't feel like a thigh exercise. You really wanna feel it tapping into your hip flexors, working the connection of your deep abs, psoas, and hip flexors. Really great for locomotion and your posture. I've broken this down into three sets of 10, but you can do whatever feels right and safe for your body. Give yourself a moment to really rest in between sets. And when you're ready, go ahead and start your second set. See if you can soften your face, make sure you're not clenching your teeth, using your breath, and trying to keep your upper body nice and relaxed. Feeling really anchored on the mat with your upper body. You may notice that you start to fatigue faster. That's normal, that's okay. If you notice your thigh starting to work more than your hip flexors or feeling any strain in your lower back, you want to stop and rest. Again, giving yourself a little bit of a break before doing the third set. And when you're ready, going into the third set. Moving with your breath, exhaling as you bring the leg up, inhaling as you bring the leg down. Feel the support of your abs. If you notice a clicking in your hip, it may be that your leg and hip are out of alignment a little bit. So you may want to move your leg to the outside or inside. See if you can relieve that clicking sound and sensation or minimalize it as much as possible. And give yourself a moment to rest before beginning the second side. And when you're ready, you're going to start the second side, extending your left leg up straight in the strap and moving the right leg. Again, we're going to be doing 30 reps I have broken it down into three sets of 10, but you can always do what feels right and safe for your body. Give yourself a moment to really rest in between sets. And when you're ready, go ahead and start your second set.
Again, giving yourself a little bit of a break before doing the third set. And when you're ready, going into the third set. And after you've finished your third set, go ahead into a psoas stretch. You're gonna have your left leg in front, your right leg behind. I like to have my toes curled under, it feels more stable for me. Do check that your foot is in line with the back of your hip and your body is nice and upright. You want to engage in your abs, sort of have the feeling that you're tucking the pelvis a little bit. You wanna feel your right glute muscle engage. Gently go into a little lunge, not very big, feeling the stretch from the top of the hip going all the way down your right thigh to the knee. Bringing your right arm up and side bending gently over to your left. When you're ready to come out of the stretch, engage in your abs to protect your lower back. And then go ahead and switch sides. Remember, you wanna feel your back glute engaged, feeling that stretch all along the front of your left thigh. Nice, easy, gentle side bend over to your right. While in the stretch, think of breathing into the back and side of your ribs. See if you can soften your jaw and your face. And remember to engage in your abs when you're ready to come out of the stretch. And that's it. You did it. Good for you. It's so awesome that you're here taking time for yourself to care for your body. I love it. I suggest doing this routine four times a week while you're building up your endurance and strength. And it will help you to prepare for next week when I add in three more exercises. Keep up the great work. Have a wonderful day. And I will see you next week. Bye for now. Special shout out to my Vital 7 stars. Thank you for making this video possible.